Hi, I am Janapriya from 3rd year CSE. In this session, we will discuss about Liskov substitution principle. We understood that L is the acronym for Liskov in the word solid. Liskov substitution principle is a particular definition of a subtyping relation called behavioral subtyping. Let first understand why this exists in the first place. This principle exists so that you can know that how to inherit properly. It is highly possible that you write your code in the way it works. It is of the business requirement but still it is conceptually wrong. Let's see implementation guidelines and how does it work in the process of development. We should ensure that no new exceptions can be thrown by the subtype unless they are part of existing hierarchy. We should also ensure that the client should not know which subtype they are calling and it should not be the least one that we use. The new derived classes just extended without replacing the functionality of the old class. Okay, Barbara Liskow introduced this principle in a conference at 1897. If you decide to apply the principle to your code, then the behavior of your code or your class becomes more important than its structure. If you take a real-time example, if a function takes an instance of a class, then the same function should also be the instance of the derived class. But when you substitute a parent object reference with an object of any other subclasses, then the pre uh, program should not wait for. Okay, let us consider an example of duck. If this is a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it should be better a duck here. If we have a shape class like rectangle and triangle here class rectangle and triangle classes which was extended from the shape class okay now the square class becomes the child of the triangle okay shape class basically square class marks the behavior of the triangle it will not break the existing code so this is how you will figure out whether the code is violating the principle or not some of the benefits of the principle are compatibility, type safety, and you can easily maintain the code as well. So we can use so we can use any programming languages like Python, C++, and Java in this principle. Here are some of the examples in the Python programming, and you can read it. Thank you.